there is an increasing, uh, you know, public health risk linked to air pollution. If you are to address air pollution, the important first step is to measure it, quantifying the scale and the magnitude. Otherwise, then we, we do not know precisely, you know, we say there's pollution, maybe there's not, but we can't really take action. So we can start to, to dig down into the data, we identify the areas that are challenging or where the hotspots are, and look at what the cause of that is. You know, having been working through this idea, I had a good feeling, you know, that, you know, they had tried so many things and we had like clarity on the kind of data that we wanted to collect. We collect uh, air pollution data and apply artificial intelligence methods to analyze the data, live insights, uh, to raise awareness and also inform actions to help reduce uh, air pollution in Kampala. We brought in the 3D printer to help us design a custom housing mm -hmm. and also quickly, you know, experiment with different designs right. that could fit. Yeah, so this is really the heart of our, our monitor. So we do the, you know, custom design mm -hmm. uh, of this board. Okay. And then uh, the manufacturing process involves, you know, putting each of the different components in here. So, so the components are uh, good design right from the schematics all the way to the PCB. We actually place the components ourselves mm -hmm. in uh, this very lab. And then so on the inside, you basically have a battery, a SIM card, and the sensors, the, the two sensors. We have GPS to help us track the location. Mm -hmm. So on the sensors, we have a external temperature and humidity mm -hmm. and air pressure as well sure. so we uh, this other particular matter sensors are uh, that's obvious pm1 pm 2.5 pm10 and we also have uh, input for wind speed and direction this unit is uh, you know it's designed to work in uh, places where we don't have access to electricity mm -hmm. uh, so because of that we designed the solar power option uh, but also importantly is that the data that's collected has to be communicated in real time right. for analysis. Right. Um, that's why we have uh, a cell phone network in, you know, the SIM card in here uh, that is used to communicate data over cell phone network in real time. So if we look at this for Kampala as a whole, we've got two charts here. Mm -hmm. So these are these are our main devices within Kampala, and you can see this is at three o'clock in the afternoon. So this is the low point okay. um, when things tend to settle. So around the major roads, mm -hmm. we're we're in orange. So it's unhealthy for sensitive groups. Uh, but this is the Bombay Road roundabout, which is um, for all kinds of reasons has some challenges. Mm -hmm. And then in the southerly areas, the, the prevailing wind tends to be from the south. Yeah. So in southerly areas, it tends to be cleaner. You know, that's that's looking a lot more cheerful. But by the time we get to eight o'clock in the evening now, it's, it's red all over. Those yellow areas are now orange. Okay. And then these areas here on the main roads, okay. that the roundabout, they've gone up to the next level of being very unhealthy. So being able to model those kind of scenarios, I think uh, would make us, you know, progress in terms of air quality. But, but one of the things that uh, I think we can hope to cause change is on two sides. So one, small, small collective action could actually lead to an impact in the reduction. Uh, but of course also uh, being able to now precisely talk to people like KCCA, like these are the hotspots of air pollution and this is where it's coming from. And uh, hopefully they can use that data to actually now take actions. And then it's where AI also comes in, being able to model different scenarios. Like what if we took away maybe this factory from this place, would we see a bigger impact in the pollution? Yes, so there's, there's a big uh, part of awareness, which uh, we need to work with, you know, people in different sectors. I know colleagues in the School of Public Health have done research, like trying to understand and assess the impact of air pollution on, let's say, lung functions of children. And if this data is out there, uh, and, you know, show that 
air, the air we breathe in impacts on our health. And I think people will start to care about the air. So I think that's the key message I would like to see that each one of us being aware that we have a challenge of air pollution, but also each one of us knowing that we can take individual actions that can collectively lead to cleaner air for all of us.